No, 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 Space Force! Hello, everyone, and welcome back to This Week in Racing. Today, we are reviewing another diecast. This is the Ed Carpenter U.S. Space Force car. Boy, have I been wanting to get this forever. This was a 2020 Indy 500 car. It took me two years to get it. This thing is beautiful. Let's get it open. So, now that I've gotten the car open, there are a few things that I love about this car. I love the livery. It just, it looks like a fighter jet. It looks like a fighter jet. And I love that. Um, I also love Space Force. I just love rockets in general. And maybe I can post some rocket-themed content on my second channel. But, look out for that. Go sub to my second channel below. Uh, yeah, plug. I just sponsored myself. Um, but... Moving on to the sponsors, we have Space Force all over this car. Space Force on the wing, on the nose, got the 20 Chevrolet Auto Geek NTT IndyCar Series Ed Carpenter Racing Delara. Sides, we have Space Force, and then a ton of tiny little sponsors I can't even see. One of them looks like Firestone. Uh, we got Chevy Auto Geek. Another, another sponsor I can't tell. I, I thought it was Hitachi for a moment. I'm like, that's not a Penske car. Um, then NTT Data and Firestone on the tiny little ends of this on the wheel pod. On the top, we have Sonax and Riley Children's Foundation on both sides. Uh, more detailed Space Force logo on the top. USSF on the side. 20 on the roll bar. Silver arrow screen. Silver topped arrow screen. Space Force on the wing. That's pretty much it. Um, looking at the trading card, of course, this is the 2020 layout with the number, the face of the driver, the name of the driver, series, of course, then a little biography. Pause the video if you want to read it. But back to the car, it has the Indy 500 tires. Something interesting about these tires, they are different on each side of the car. So they're all red marking on the right side of the car, but on the left, the Firestone logos are white. So it's an interesting little detail touch to make the car seem more realistic. Um, for first time IndyCar buyers, these things do roll, so if you're used to like Hot Wheels or something, they still roll. Um, they are a lot more fragile than a Hot Wheel because they're a lot more well made. Like the wing. Wing's a little flimsy thing. A little flimsy little piece of metal. Um, but overall, quality control looks really, 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 really good. Um, inside it says Ed Carpenter. It says on Ed Carpenter underneath the arrow screen. On the arrow screen, it says. What does it say? Semper Supra. That's like uh, the the motto of the Space Force. It's got NTT IndyCar Series, PPG, and then Chevrolet just barely hanging on there. Just a weird error. But Riley Children's Foundation on the engine cover. No Chevy sponsoring on the engine cover. Honda does that. Um, Speedway, and then 20 on the ends of the wing. I love this car. Um, just this car is like the embodiment of what I love because... I love cars, of course. That's why I made this YouTube channel. Like, you guys wouldn't be here if I didn't love cars. Um, but then there is the space side to it. Like, I love the the whole next frontier idea of space and just how, like, as of I'm re as of the time I'm recording this, I think Elon bought Twitter like a week ago. So, reads on the trading card. Want to know when Space Force was signed into law, December twentieth, twenty nineteen. It's the world's, it's uh, America's newest branch of the military. So that's pretty cool. They got this. Uh, they got the sponsorship because at the time, Air Force and the that whole deal was hooked up with Ed Carpenter Racing. Um, of course, it isn't anymore. After amazing paint jobs like Connor Daly's Indy five hundred car from the same year, the Chuck Yeager tribute car. 
and the silver and blue fade from last year. But the Air Force era of Ed Carpenter Racing produced amazing paint jobs. This was one of them. Unfortunately, it didn't do very well in the race. Um, Carpenter hit the wall on the first lap and went 13 laps down the caution early because James Davison's brake decided to explode. That helped him a little bit. He ended up finishing. He was the last running car, I believe, finishing. But I would have loved to see this car do well. I wish, if they still had the Air Force sponsorship, I wish they uh, brought this livery back. But now I have it in diecast form. And that's pretty much it. So thank you, everyone, for watching this this Week in Racing diecast review. Um, I'll put all the links to the stuff. I'll put link to the official This Week in Racing Discord server where you can share your own car facts, news stories, pictures of your car models, diecasts, and if you want to, Legos. Um, I'll put a link to my second channel down below if you're Gen Z and you really need to laugh. Um, that's pretty much it. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to subscribe and hit the bell because tomorrow I'm going to be reviewing this thing, the Chip Ganassi Racing number 48 that was driven by Tony Kanaan at all the ovals last year. So make sure to subscribe and hit the bell to stay notified for that. Let's try and get to 40 subscribers by the end of May. I've been trying to put a lot more effort into my videos. Thank you everyone for the support. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye. <laughs>